We're about to run a really cool test of the auxiliary fuel system in our Titan T51D Mustang. Now in our aircraft, we wanna be able to take it large distances and that's why we decided to put this optional fuel tank in that Titan sells. It's 13 gallons, you can just barely see the bottom of it right here and it sits in the turtle deck of the aircraft. Now the challenge when you have this is that there's a variety of different ways that you can actually plumb this tank in and use it as part of your fuel system. We've decided that we want to use it in a way that we burn fuel down on the mains until we're at least 13 gallons down and then turn on the tank and transfer the fuel from here to refill the tank, switch it back off from the cockpit, and we're done. Don't have to do any more fuel management. In order to make that happen, we're trying to decide whether gravity feed will solve it or if we have to have a pump. And so I'm gonna run some tests. And what I've done is I've put a facet fuel pump in here. This is, does 32 gallons per hour at four and a half to six PSI. And also, since I don't want to have a lever or any fuel or oil in the cockpit, um, we're going to actually have a, there's actually a solenoid right behind it that switches to open the valve to allow this fuel to flow. Now I've looked at the specs and this should work, but it really uh, pays to actually test it. We're not really gonna know how well it works until we actually test and see how the system operates and start timing. What's it take to actually take one gallon and push it through. And of course here building in the house, I don't want to do that with gasoline. So we're going to start with water. It's uh, when you're building a, an aircraft, it's okay to kind of flush water through the, uh, uh, the system, get rid of any metal particles or any contamination in there. As long as you get everything out and you make sure you're at that point when you get close to running actual fuel, that you're running and running until you've made sure you've eliminated all of the uh, moisture out of it, all the water. And you also want to make sure you empty water out so you don't get any corrosion even while we're building. So we will be paying attention to that. So what we're going to do now is uh, put a gallon of water here in the tank to start. Um, I'm going to uh, go through that system and test hooking it up. And I've got a line here. We're going to dump into the same one gallon and find out. How does our auxiliary fuel system actually work as designed here on our Titan T51D Mustang? Let's get to work. All right, here we go. One gallon measured out, handing it to Jake. Time to go to the other side of the aircraft and actually fill our tank. And then uh, we'll turn on the pump and see how long it takes to transfer one gallon. Okay, sounds good. First time filling up the tank. Our fuel cap. The good news is, if this turns into a mess, then uh, we all we did is spill water everywhere. <laughs> I hear something. I think it's just going into the tank. You sure? Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? <laughs> okay. All right, time to go to the other side. All right, so uh, we're gonna run the test right now. Got everything all wired up for the moment of truth. Now, obviously there's a few things that are not scientific about this. First of all, we're not going through enough hose and line to get all the way to where the main tanks will be. Going through is part of it, but at least we're seeing the capacity of the solenoid and how it operates as well as the pump. Second thing is we're not going against any pressure of actual fuel in those tanks sitting in the tank. And the third, of course, we're pumping water, not fuel. But this should be enough to really give us an idea at least of how the system is working. So let's take this, let's get ready. And uh, you tell me, you gotta hold this straight up and down, Jake. Uh, it started just about an inch down here. There's gonna be some unusable, of course, but um, we'll start it and see where we go. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. One, two, three, start. <laughs>
How are we doing? We're good. Maybe a third of the way up. Not a minute yet. Okay. Half it looks like. According to the pump specs, it would take about two minutes. running dry now, is that what's going on? Pull it up so you can see what's coming out. I'll call that it. Okay, we'll call that it then. So I think it started to run dry at the very end because there's a certain amount of unusable that's going to happen in here. Um, and going to be lines, uh, going to be uh, uh, fluid through lines, etc. And that starts to slow down really, really quick. I think we're, I'm going to call it a minute 45. Yeah, um, a minute 45 to a minute 50, I would say. Yeah, to get that through. So a minute 45 a gallon. Um, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good mm -hmm. with some good force on it. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think that's good enough to validate the system because at a minute 45, then that means the entire tank... If we do our uh, a little bit of math here, right? So um, let's uh, let's say it's going to be 16 gallons times minute 45 a gallon. So, so uh, 1.75 uh, um, times the 16. That's a 28 minute total total you know transfer. Um, so that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it'd be nice to be a little bit better, but I haven't found a faster pump yet. So we're going to use that uh, as the test and see where we go from there. Till next time, Jeff and Jake here from Social Flight. We'll see you soon. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and blue skies.